Oh. We're in Chicago right now. Second flight coming up. Copenhagen, Denmark. Here we come, baby. Aloha from Copenhagen, Denmark. This is Street Underbun, and this is Bunna House. As you can see right here, we just we just have gotten there, so we we're super tired, jet lag. But I told Kai, let's get out there and let's just start training already, so we can get over this jet lag. It's so amazing because I mean, you can play anyone, one versus one, two versus two, three versus three, and everyone is up to play. This is one of my first training matches against a seven-year-old, eight maybe, such a little baller. <laughs> He was coming in tough. They don't care. They don't care who you are either. I mean, by the time he's seven or eight, <laughs> he's doing worse the ball trick. Um, they've already played hundreds and thousands of matches already. Itai from the UK, one of the finest youth players in the world. Born in the USA. So definitely we took him under our wing and vice versa here we are cruising the streets of Copenhagen Denmark it's a biking nation everyone rides bikes walks runs they have their own biking lanes it's super cool their own car lanes their own walking lanes it's just phenomenal the, the way they set it up this is the waterfront right here the infamous painted houses i couldn't pronounce anything there i would try to pronounce things and they would look at me like uh what <laughs> so funny. One of the most amazing things to me was all the soccer courts, the pitches that you find everywhere. You can play soccer anywhere, on the street, on the grass, in schools. Here's a school right here. We have a fauna court for 1v1, 2v2s. It's just unbelievable how much soccer support they have. Please. Back on the beautiful roads of Denmark, cruising. It's so beautiful to bike there. Itai and Kai. Me in the front. 
front with brother Dan filming. Such an amazing day. So beautiful, just cruising on our bike, just taking in all the sights, the architecture, the buildings, the people, the cars. Everyone's so friendly too. Here is one of Kai's match matches. I think it was 1-1 one, one here. Look at that. Look at it go. Whew. This kid is biting on everything. He was good though. I mean, even outside the court, you're playing. You're playing 24-7. It's just the culture is just unreal. So unique. There's nothing like Pana House. There's nothing like this. Kids come after school and play. Adults. And it's just... They, people don't even, some people don't even look like they even play soccer. But everyone has amazing skill here. Amazing. His brother Jacob right here, Cornelius. He was a uh, world champion for Bonna KO in 2021. He's playing against Kailani. <laughs> so much fun. Kai versus Itai. America versus America. Watch this kid go. Oof. Watch them both go. Amazing footwork. Phenomenal skill. There's his pops right there, brother Dan filming. Supportive dad. Go Kai Kai. Go Kai Kai. It's your birthday. Fum Aka. Oh. Playing against Jacob again. That is amazing. Such phenomenal skills. He looks like he's floating when he's playing. It's like skateboard street style. It was my first match against the talented Steven from France. Nice. Just having fun in the park. Some ground move session. Where everyone just goes and shows their skills in the middle. This guy's definitely my favorite though. This style. Boop. Pop. Boop. Pop. Little booty bounce. Here's what we came for. The tournament right here. This was the top 16. Just the best of the best. In 1v1. Kailani. Just, she was enjoying the matches. She learned so much. So did I. It was fun. Enjoying the performance, it's having fun. What a spectacle. What an event. World class. Phew. And here are some of the 1v1 matches from the top 16. Enjoy. And we definitely can't talk about Pana House without this guy in the blue. His name is Lick, Christopher Lick. He's the guy who founded Pana House, who started this movement in Denmark, along with Gypsy and I mean, <laughs> yeah, he's teasing the other player that he missed. Yeah, what a character. What a baller.
So as the players are coming in to the final court, the crowd is going wild because these guys are like celebrities for these kids and these people there. That's Easy Man right there with the dreadlocks. Dreadlock Rasta and Medi from Belgium is on the other side, world champion a couple times. I think Easy Man has been the champion a few times as well. Definitely the King of Pana with the dreadlocks. We got K Mac right there from the US officiating, judging. I wanted to zoom in and get their eyes right before the match. See the focus, the readiness. So, what they're trying to do here is you know, they gave a little handshake with the hand pound. And then that signifies that they're ready, that you respect. And you're even trying to score a goal or pass it through their legs. So I believe it's 2-0 right there while doing these beautiful ground moves, skills with the soccer ball. So the point of this game is either to win by goals or to make a pana, which is passing it through their legs. Which is really hard at this level because they're all well versed in Pana at the top 16, especially. Got two of the best right here, too. Noah versus, Fer Noah versus Ferjani. Noah's from Denmark and Ferjani's from Belgium. Hey, look at that control, that skill. Amazing. And here's the reason why they're so good. They start at such a young age and they just play and play and play and play. Look at that. These kids are no older than like 11 or 12. They're like five, six, seven, eight, nine. They have hundreds of thousands of touches already. Here is a 5v5 game between mixed teams, but Denmark on one side, USA, Malaysia, and Italy on the other side. It was fun to watch this. A lot of bickering and complaining, and it was just super fun to see. There's Gypsy, the man right there. 42 years old, or young still going balling beating like teenagers and 20 year olds 30 year olds no problem there he is again pop <laughs> he's awesome Here's Zim from Malaysia. This cat is amazing. He's so quick. Beautiful ground moves. He also freestyles too. Boom. Malaysia in the house. Here's that 
clip because I was playing against a seven-year-old or six-year-old, whatever he was. So much fun. Kailani training with Itai. Before the Bana Championships. Just tightening up their skills, going over some finishing finishing skills again this was upon a court just out in the public they're everywhere I believe this was the first match that she was playing that was a good little game I think it ended in 3-3 three, three. 